All right, the big story at this hour. Two paramilitary Jawans on election duty have been killed in a clash among themselves in Gujarat. Let's go across to my colleague uh, Tanushree, who's following this story. She's been following the Gujarat elections uh, all through. Tanushree, uh, now this news coming in about this uh, clash. What is the reason for the clash? Is that known? What's happening? Well, Sarah, the reason is still unknown, but the collector of Polbandar told me that the matter is under investigation. But what we know so far that it's a it's an incident of a factory side where in a Jawan of Manipur Indian Reserve Battalion who was stationed in Polbandar for the Gujarat election duty, uh, that person uh, injured two and shot dead two of his own colleagues after a clash broke out between them. Now the collector categorically told me, Sarah, that. Uh, though these Jawans were on election duty, but when the clash happened and when the firing happened from AK-56, uh, the Jawans were off duty. They were Ill they were in fact staying in a hostel in a Nawabandar area in Porbandar, and now two of these Jawans have been killed by their own colleague, and two are injured. They are shifted. They have been shifted to a hospital in Jamnagar for better treatment, and in fact. Uh, the government sources are telling us that the initial probe reveals that the Jawan who opened fire was not in a stable condition. He was not stable and that is why some uh, reason, some clash broke out between them for some unknown reason. The reason is, is yet to be known, but he ended up uh, shooting two of his own colleagues and injuring two who have now been shifted to uh, a, a hospital in Jamnagar for better treatment. But these Jawans were posted in Gujarat for election duty. And, uh, you know, now the matter is serious. The collector and the SP of the area are on the spot to basically uh, take a stock of the situation in person and also investigate as to what really unfolded, which resulted in this kind of a clash where two Jawans have now been killed by their own colleague and two are, are seriously critically injured, Sarah. All right, and as Tanushree said, she spoke with uh, the uh, collector of Porbandar, Mr. Ashok Sharma. Listen in. What is exactly happening? Can you tell us about this? Actually, this is a Manipur battalion, CAPF. CAPF or CRPF, sir? Yes, they are. No, sir, what is it? CAPF or CRPF? नहीं इसको सेंट्रल आर्म पुलिस फोर्स ही बोलते हैं इन जनरल अच्छा सीएपीएफ है तो ये आईआरबी आईआरबी नहीं है हमको बताया जा रहा है इंडियन रिजर्व बटालियन है ना आईआरबी थ्री एंड फोर आई एम यूजिंग जनरल कॉन्वर्सेशन व्हाट इज इट स्पेसिफिक इस बार करेक्ट नो आई शुड बी कॉल शुड बी कॉल इट आईआरबी और शुड uh, okay, the... Indian Reserve Battalion. Hmm. Okay, sir. So, sir, exactly what happened? No, IRB 3 and 4 IT and they are uh, um, given uh, accommodation in... Uh, uh, we have a cyclone uh, shelter, we call them, but it's a uh, hotel kind of thing. So they were given accommodation in um, that uh, relief center and uh, they were living there actually. At seven o'clock evening, uh, now it is a matter of investigation. What actually happened? Hmm. One fellow shot firing through AK-47. So within within died. within the Indian Reserve Battalion. Ah, within within. Okay, only. okay, sir. It's not okay. outside. It's not. They have not hit okay. anybody outside, and it was not election-related offense. Okay, and these were these these Jawans were on election duty, right, sir? They are on duty, but they were not on duty at the time of firing. Okay, okay, sir. सर अगर और अभी दो लोगों की मृत्यु हुई है और दो इंजर्ड है आपने बोला हाँ दो इंजर्ड एंड दो दो डेड दो इंजर्ड दो किल्ड एंड दो इंजर्ड हाँ दो किल्ड दो इंजर्ड एंड बहुत इंजर्ड वेर गिवन प्राइमरी ट्रीटमेंट इस पोर्बंदर एंड नाउ शिफ्टेड तू जामनगर हॉस्पिटल पर थैंक्स अ लॉट सर थैंक्स and temperatures are rising and fraying on the campaign trail. The Ahmadmi Party chief Arvind K. Jival on uh, Saturday shared a video of the BJP star campaigner for Gujarat, Chief Minister Adityanath, that's the UP Chief Minister Adityanath, calling him, the Delhi Chief Minister, a sympathizer of terrorism during a poll rally in Gujarat. The Delhi Chief Minister then took that and uh, pitched himself as an alternative, that is someone who stands for development as opposed to the BJP's, and I'm quoting here, politics of abuses and hooliganism.
ये जो आम आदमी पार्टी का नमूना आया है ना यहां दिल्ली से यह तो आतंकवाद का सच्चा हितेशी है अयोध्या में राम मंदिर का विरोध करता है और जब भारत की सेना पाकिस्तान के अंदर जाकर के सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक करती है तब तो भारत के सैनिकों से कहता बहादुर जवानों से कहता इसका प्रमाण क्या है बहादुर जवानों से प्रमाण मांगा जाता है पाकिस्तान चिल्ला रहा है कि हमारी कमर तोड़ दी है भारत के जवानों ने लेकिन आम आदमी पार्टी को इसका भी प्रमाण चाहिए होता है भाइयों बहनों आतंकवाद और भ्रष्टाचार इनके जींस का हिस्सा है इसलिए जो भ्रष्टाचारी हैं आतंकवाद समर्थक हैं भ्रष्टाचार और आतंकवाद जिनके जींस का हिस्सा हो उसको वोट दे करके हम अपने वोट को कलंकित कतई न करें And from the Gujarat campaign trail, let's go across to the Delhi campaign trail. On uh, Saturday, a Delhi court dismissed the jailed AAP minister Satyendra Jain's plea uh, for uh, a f- special food or proper food, as he put it, in jail. So there's been no relief for the AAP uh, minister. The court said that providing food and vegetables to Satyendra Jain during uh, imprisonment is a violation of rules. Uh, the court also said that the jail was not responsible for Satyendra Jain's weight loss; that uh, he had lost weight because he did not follow the medical officer's advice. This on a day when uh, we saw a new video be released that showed Satyendra Jain in his prison cell, being visited by the superintendent of uh, police, uh, superintendents of the jail, who had been suspended last month. In response to this. the delhi chief minister has uh, taken a pot shot at the bjp saying for every 10 videos they release it's the bjp's 10 videos versus the aam aadmi party's 10 promises of development meanwhile uh, the heat is on the ground in delhi and uh, in the run up to those mcd elections the bjp is not taking it uh, lightly either and delhi is bracing for the mcd polls and political bigwigs from both parties are coming down on the poll pitch for delhi clean streets zero waste colonies and housing for all bharat mata ki bande in the national capital's local body polls the promise of a clean green and sustainable city is a key political plank for both major parties in the fray ghar se bahar nikalte hain naaliyan bhari padi hain keechad the aam aadmi party has promised to address delhi's waste shame हम लंदन से एक्सपर्ट्स को बुलाएंगे पेरिस से बुलाएंगे टोक्यो से बुलाएंगे ग्लोबल एक्सपर्ट्स को बुलाएंगे जैसे दुनिया के बाकी शहर अपने कूड़े के निस्तारण को कर रहे हैं हम भी कूड़े के निस्तारण को बाकी शहरों की तरह करेंगे बीजेपी हैज मेड हाउसिंग फॉर द पुअर वन ऑफ इट सेंट्रल पोल प्रोमिस ऐसा स्वच्छ वातावरण युक्त मकान हर झुग्गी वासी को दिल्ली में दिया जाएगा सत्रह हजार मकान बनकर तैयार है जेलर वाला बाग और कठपुतली कॉलोनी ये बिल्कुल बनकर तैयार है बाकी पैंतीस योजनाएं हमारे प्रोसेस में है जहां झुग्गी वहीं मकान की इस काम को भी हम केंद्र सरकार के माध्यम से करने वाले हैं पर एज वी रिपोर्ट फ्रॉम द मोस्ट वॉलरेबल एंड इग्नोर पॉकेट्स ऑफ द नेशनल कैपिटल द रियलिटी शोज द नीड फॉर टोटल रीवैम्प एंड अटेंशन राउंड द ईयर टू सॉल्व डेलीज गार्बेज एंड हाउसिंग प्रॉब्लम Slum dwellers tell us that despite filling forms for pakka houses many times in the past they are still stuck in their tiny shacks matlab kuch bhi koi kuch nahi karta bas sab vote dene ke time pe hi aate hain aur hamare yahan ki naaliyan itni bhar rahi hai itna gandgi ho rahi hai wahan tak pahunch jata pani hamara gand koi nahi aata safai karne wala aise to bolte hain ki kooda alag alag padko sukha aur geela aur aise ghar mein sad rahe hain kya kare ek dusri baat चालीस साल से कोई मकान नहीं मिल रहा कुछ नहीं मिल रहा इतने दिन हो गए ये नाली का इतना भयंकर मुद्दा है जिनके पास भी जाते हैं तो पत्थर नहीं उठेंगे हमारे से पत्थर नहीं उठेंगे आज ये हालत है अंदर कीड़े मकोड़े सारे दौड़ रहे हैं अंदर यानी हमारी हालत खराब है नाली की वजह से छह आदमी रहते छह आदमी रहते जी From the stench of sewers in slum colonies to the stink of garbage across the national capital 
to tackle Delhi's garbage crisis, both the BJP and the Aam Aadmi Party have come up with solutions like waste treatment plants, organic parks and other mechanisms of garbage disposal in their poll pitches. However, residents of Delhi's urban villages say that waste should be treated at the source and decomposed locally to solve the garbage issue. And that the Delhi municipality has been opposed to this, as big promises like waste treatment plants look better on election manifestos. It has been three years now we have been trying to convince the Muslim corporation that you have to understand that 60, more than 60% of the waste from Indian households is organic in nature. Why are you transporting that to these landfill signs and you are actually telling that this is a garbage mountain of a city and you are trying to create a scenario. Uh, it is not really the right thing to do. It is very really detrimental to the environment and because the kind of gases which are emitted from these waste energy plants, uh, studies have shown what kind of uh, pollution they create. And uh, you know, Delhi is known as a gas chamber. 26-year-old Jaydev Yadav from Parpavat, an urban village that came under the erstwhile South Delhi Municipal Corporation, has come up with an effective solution to manage waste locally and says it can be implemented across Delhi. जी हम यहाँ पे जो भी क्या नाम है डेरी का वेस्ट हो गया नॉर्मल जो भी एक दो पशु रख रहे हैं उसका जो गोबर हो गया उसको हम लाके किचन वेस्ट वगैरह जितना भी है उसको हम यहाँ पे लाके यहाँ पे कंपोज करते हैं उससे हम ये खाद बना के मार्केट में पैक करके बेचते हैं गार्बेज कैपिटल गैस चेम्बर एंड मेनी सच नेम्स गिवन टू द नेशनल कैपिटल अहेड ऑफ द क्रूशल सिविक बॉडी पोल्स बोथ द आम आदमी पार्टी एंड द बीजेपी द टू मेजर पार्टीज इन फ्रे हैव कम अप विद स्ट्रिंग ऑफ पोल प्रोमिसेस प्रोमिसिंग हाउसिंग फॉर स्लम डिवेलर्स एंड इफेक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ गार्बेज डिस्पोजल एंड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट बट द रियालिटी ऑन ग्राउंड इज ब्लीक एंड लोकल्स लोकल्स ऑफ द नेशनल कैपिटल बिलीव द स्टेटस को विल रिमेन अनचेंज In New Delhi, with camera person Zaid Thomas, way down for ATV. And despite having BJP governments in both states, the decades-old Maharashtra-Karnataka border dispute has resurfaced after the Karnataka Chief Minister's recent claim that some villages in the Sangli district in Maharashtra have passed a resolution to become part of the southern state owing to a water crisis. Kesali Samvidana Kanun Badwag Navidhewe. कर्नाटक याद प्रदेश बदलाव आगल संपूर्ण विश्वास कानूनात्मक विश्वास But he is not taking any chances in the ongoing border row between Karnataka and Maharashtra. Chief Minister Basavaraj Bomai has deployed a battery of lawyers to fight the case against Maharashtra in the Supreme Court. Across the border, Maharashtra saw protests in Pune and Solapur against Karnataka Chief Minister after he claimed that some villages in Maharashtra's Sangli district. passed a resolution demanding a merger with Karnataka tonight bomai's claim maharashtra chief minister eknath shinde said that he will not give even an inch of land ani tyat barobar karnataka cha vishay tyachar mi bhashya kelela ahe ha 2012 cha vishay konacha sarkar hoto tya vez gele 28 varsha madhe kay kele karnataka sathi are eknath shinde 40 divas jail madhe bhogla jail bhogun ala hai karnataka ani maharashtra belgaon sima andolana madhe while the row has triggered the face off between the bjp units of the two states the border jat taluk of sangli district want karnataka that they would march straight into karnataka if they did not get water supply ration betat nahi karnataka madhe ration betate proper ami maharashtra hai manayla evda laaj vartay na marathi hai manayla garv hai कर्नाटका कांग्रेस प्रेसिडेंट डी के शिव कुमार डिस्मिसेस द राव एज ए फिक्स मैथ बिटवीन द टू बीजेपी यूनिट्स और सरकार डिप्टी सी एम सी एम और फडनवीस नम राज्य कारवार तक बेरे आयती का कारवार कर्नाटक एंड महाराष्ट्र हैव बीन इन टैंगल इन अगल डिस्प्यूट फॉर ओवर सिक्स डेकेज इट ऑल स्टार्ट विन महाराष्ट्र लेट क्लेम टू बेलगावी विच वॉज अर्लियर पार्ट ऑफ बॉम्बे प्रेसिडेंसी In order to reassert its claim on Belagavi, Karnataka constructed a second power center, the Suvarna Vidhan Sauda. 
The border row is pending in the Supreme Court, which will be heard in the court in the coming days. With residents of Jattaluk threatening to leave Maharashtra if the demands are not met, stakes are high in Belagavi, the epicenter of the border row. While Bumai is known to take a soft stand, this time around is fighting hard against his counterpart in Maharashtra. Also one of the major reasons being that Belagavi is preparing to host the winter session and that's going to be the last one before 2023 elections. With Pooja and David in Bengaluru, Srija for NDTV. And bringing back memories of uh, June this year, Eknath Shinde and about 40 of his MLAs landed in Guwahati on Saturday morning. But this time when asked, Mr. Shinde and his MLAs and MPs suggest there's nothing political about this trip. Maharashtra's Chief Minister Eknath Shinde at the Kamakya Temple in Guwahati. He of course came here to offer prayers along with his MLAs and MPs. But when a Chief Minister comes with a delegation of MLAs and MPs, can it be said that there's no politics? That's something political observers are not uh, willing to agree with. Right after Darshan at the revered Kamakya Temple in Guwahati this afternoon, Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde telling NDTV that he was meeting his Assam counterpart, BJP's Himanta Biswasarma on this trip. The Shinde camp insists there is nothing political about this visit. It's just gratitude to the goddess that brings them here. But also accompanying the Shiv Sena MLAs and MPs, BJP leader from Maharashtra, Mohit Bharatiya, who said he was in the delegation on Shinde's invitation. Devendra Fadnavis, the Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra, however, did not come, as speculated. But there were prominent BJP faces in the contingent. religious tour, a religious trip, official or political trip nahi hai koi agar kisi se shishtachar mulakat karta hai aur yahan pe bhi bharatiya janata party ke sarkar ke sath hi manne mukhyamantri eknath shinde sahab mukhyamantri hain to ye sath mein sarkar hai aur yahan pe assam mein bhi bharatiya janata party ki sarkar hai aur agar do mukhyamantri aapas mein milte hain aur vikas ki baatein karte hain to usme kaun si rajniti hai but mr shinde's original party the shiv sena questioned the chief minister's motives this visit of course is being viewed through the prism of politics simply because when a chief minister is traveling with so many MLAs, MPs and supporters, politics cannot be far behind. With camera person Shanjay Chakraborty at the Kamakya Temple in Guwahati, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV.